Hi all, uh, here's another quick tutorial on embedding Grafana in Node-RED dashboard. Now, the requirement for this is uh, you need to have a Grafana server running. It can be a cloud uh, server. It could be a local setup. Uh, here I'm running Grafana in a Docker container uh, on localhost. You also need uh, Node-RED uh, running uh, on the cloud or on your local, uh, on your local machine. I'm running it locally here. And you also need a Grafana dashboard in place, uh, which I already set up. So I have a line chart and some some numbers. Uh, and this is uh, and here the data sources uh, in FluxDB. And we'll embed these panels uh, inside the Node dashboard. Now, first thing you need to do is update the Grafana configuration file so that you can access uh, these panels from Node-RED and you enable uh, option to access the uh, panels in an iframe. Because I'm running Grafana in a, a container, I can log into my container, go to my Grafana configuration file, and I need to look for anonymous. So first thing is you need to enable anonymous access. By default, it's probably commented out and it's set to false. Uh, so you need to make sure to set it to true and enable it. The other thing you need is search for embed and you need to set allow embedding to true as well. So once you are done with this uh, Grafana file. You need to restart your Grafana server for these settings to uh, take effect. Now coming to the Node-RED flow. Uh, so here is a sample flow we are working with. Uh, also, this is based uh, around one of the open source uh, flows submitted by the awesome Node-RED community. I've included the link uh, in the description below for this flow as well. Uh, so please uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, this is also the motivation behind the video uh, and I'm reusing most of the code uh, here submitted by uh, Hubert Decker. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Mr. Decker. Again, link in the description below. So I'll go through the flow from left to right. So first is the inject node, which injects a message which is uh, now minus 14 days and it gets triggered on each deploy and then we have a drop down node which has some values some labels so 7 days 14 days 20 days and 30 days and again the associated values for the those labels and here we are setting a time range so i'm just making sure that message.from date is set to message.payload once that is done we have another function node, which is updating that message.payload with the URL of our of our panel. So in this in this uh, in this function node, this message.payload URL is it needs to be set to the URL of our panel. So to get the URL, you'll go to the panel, hit share, click on embed and copy this URL and paste it here. So this is what I've uh, uh, pulled from the Grafana dashboard embed uh, code. So once this URL is here, we have a refresh, refresh limit of one minute and our theme is light and, and from is message.from date, which we are setting right here uh, from the drop down and so message or from from date is whatever value we select in the drop down uh, and the panel id we are setting right here is also available uh, on the embed code so the panel id here is four and that's what uh, we are using here as well we do the same thing for the other panel with a different panel ID. So the panel ID there is two. So if I go to share, look at the embed code, 
my panel ID here is two, and that's what I have configured here. We hit done, and then I'm using a UI template node to plot these uh, in an iframe. So all this does it, it sets up an iframe, and it waits for a message uh, coming from our workflow. And as soon as it receives the message, it updates the source attribute of the iframe. So here, if we look at, uh, and we are doing the same thing for uh, the other plot as well. Now here, if you look at the dashboard, this is what we get, which is similar to our, our Grafana dashboard. So here I have a dropdown. I can change the range uh, uh, or the interval of my request. So if I do 30 days, it takes a lot of time to get some data. And you can see that we don't have any data for last few days. So if I do last seven days, there's no data, and there is some data for last 14 days. Uh, yeah, and similarly, you can add more panels in the Grafana dashboard and embed them uh, in your in your Node-RED uh, dashboard. Uh, please feel free to comment if you have any questions. And also, uh, this flow is available for a free download. Uh, check the link in the description. Thank you.